Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to show you how you can set up shadow catchers. These are great for integrating your objects into any scenes. So yes, you can use these for things like visual effects. If you've got a background plate as it's known or a movie scene in the background, you can then insert your animated objects in using these shadow catchers so it looks like they really are part of the scene. So here's an elephant model I did a while ago and you can see my shadow catcher plane on the bottom here. Now if you do want to insert your object into an environment, you'll need an HDRI that matches that environment so that your shadows are going the correct way. But that's beyond the scope of this tutorial for the moment, I'm just showing the shadow catcher. So I'll delete this plane and I'll create a new one. So Shift A, Mesh, Plane, scale that up. So here you can see the shadows are affecting this plane and we need to get rid of the actual object itself and we also need to get rid of the reflections affecting our elephant. In order to do that, you must be in cycles. So over to the render properties, make sure you're in cycles here. And then with the object selected in object properties, scroll down to visibility. And in that disclosure box, we've got shadow catcher. When I tick that, it successfully removed the background but left the shadow. But it has still got this reflection, so watch out for that. Make sure you turn off the glossy and the diffuse. Then your elephant won't be affected by the colors of this plane. Now there is one more thing we need to do before we render, and that's go to our render properties again, and make sure that we have transparent ticked under film. So under the film section, tick on transparency to make sure you haven't got a background like this and that you've got the checkered pattern here. Now when I render that, We've got our model and it's got a transparent background. Now if for some reason you haven't got the checkered background, I'll just go back into Blender and under the output properties here, we have got a PNG format and it has to be set to RGBA. A is the alpha channel and that's the transparency. And then place it into a program such as Photoshop and there you can see it's got a transparent background. If I add a layer and put it on the bottom and give it a color, you can see that, that shadow still appears but the background is nicely filled in. You could then insert him into a scene. Obviously you'd have to sort out the lighting a little bit better than that though. <laughs> but you can see the idea with the shadows, even though these shadows are going the opposite way to this. So you can imagine if this was a movie scene and we'd animated our elephant, he would then be integrated into the scene. But do remember to do that, you'll probably want an HDRI that's similar to the background plate. Okay, so that's shadow catchers. If you have any thoughts, then do comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.